Today I'd like to briefly just talk about um, a bearing replacement in a Maytag slash Whirlpool front load Neptune washer. These um, have been around for about, I don't know, 15 plus years. Uh, we first got ours and they're great machines. They've had some issues here and there, but for the most part they're at resort carts and I know in our house, but they get used almost every day. Um, anyway, over about 15 years, you know, the bearings were out and this is very common. So I thought I did my due diligence and went ahead and uh, purchased what I thought were um, bearings that were designed uh, or original for that matter for the Neptune um, front loader washer. And, you know, spent most of my uh, Saturday putting them in one, one weekend and then getting everything put together and ran it up and sounded just fine. And then about six months later, guess what? The bearing failure. And so I started to do a little research and then I discovered that um, bearings are not all made the same for that matter. And on top of that, bearings are one of the most counterfeited items in the world. I mean, we think of, you know, luxury goods and things like that as being counterfeit, but bearing uh, counterfeiting is a huge multi-billion dollar industry, which actually results in billions of dollars of, um, of uh, lost productivity due to um, uh, premature failure. And so I learned my lesson this time. And so what I did was I actually started uh, researching and looking at different bearings and, you know, you can, they have basically three types of grades. Um, and uh, you know the ceramic being the most most uh, expensive, but also the, probably one of the better uh, top of the line, and then you have stainless steel, and then of course your basic just standard bearing, and then of course there's the manufacturers. You know there's basically about oh maybe a dozen or so that are really well known, like um, uh, SKF. They're actually a Swedish uh, uh, bearing manufacturer, been around for you know hundreds hundred plus years. There's um, uh, Nachi, which is, I believe, is um, uh, Japanese, and FAG, which is German. Of course, Timken, which maybe you've heard that name as well. So the question is, okay, if you're going to buy, find, look for bearings online, and if you just Google, for instance, Whirlpool or Maytag uh, Neptune bearing, front loader bearing replacement, you're going to get literally, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hits of people claiming that they have sets. Now, the, the bearings themselves are very standard. They're uh, 6206 and 6207 versions, and it's a common bearing. Um, the thing about uh, Whirlpool, they do not make a um, actual uh, OEM bearing. You actually have to replace the entire drum assembly in order to get the bearing that's in it, which is kind of interesting. And um, uh, there are some uh, appliance outfits that will actually repair them for you as well, premium priced. But for just in parts and then labor, you're doing it yourself. You might as well, you know, make that attempt, or might as well just throw away the whole um, wash machine and, and buy something that's new. You may find people that are advertising online, um, you know, official OEM Whirlpool packaging like this, for instance. It can be. Um, forged as well and the forgers have gotten better um, to the finest details and including you know the packaging so just having an actual stamp or, or whatever you know, is no guarantee that you actually have a an original or high quality product so just know that you know you can't buy whirlpool uh, bearings that are uh, for this without buying the um, the entire drum assembly so if someone's advertising them um, as that way you know that's a fraud i bought my bearings online uh, through a german company that uh, claims to manufacture them and of course i also upgraded to stainless steel uh, stainless steel bearings are much harder and um, they're probably outlast live me with this uh, uh, retrofit here and uh, so the company I'm going to put a plug for them is a CQ Kugelager I believe that's how you pronounce it um, they're out of Stuttgart in Germany you know, one thing I appreciate about the Germans um, I was in Germany you know a few years ago and just the the precision to detail I was really impressed with this just the overall quality if you can look at the two difference in you know, the cheap bearing here you know that it's just the quality just isn't there in fact you can feel you know movement uh, as you wiggle it this way on the the uh, inside raceway and then when you spin it you can actually feel the 
the bearings, you know, move, um, whereas with something like that's highly precision and a good quality bearing, it should be just like glass. You don't even feel there's almost very little friction and drag, and at the same time, there's no movement on the inner inner race. So these are very very good bearings. I think I paid about fifteen dollars for them U.S. Um, uh, roughly a piece. So it was a, actually a very good good uh, bargain. I felt for high quality bearings. So if you're looking for bearing replacements for um, the Maytag and you're not sure what you're going to get even from a dealer within the U.S. Or, or North America, then I would look at these guys. Fairly seems to be a, a fairly small uh, company and from what I can tell they're just really, really good quality and I'm kind of excited to get these things put in. So um, like I said, there's plenty, plenty of videos online to uh, show you how to do these. Um, the bearing installed we don't need to recreate the wheel here with that but i just wanted to just make the point that unless you want to do this more than once this repair which is not a fun repair to do afford yourself to get good quality bearings i mean the question is how much should you spend well I'd probably domestically you'd probably be spending about 30 or maybe 40 dollars a bearing each bearing to get a, what you would guarantee is a really, really good bearing and that's probably going to last you for the lifetime of the washer and then some. If you pay $8 a bearing or in some cases even less than that, the chances are it's, it's not going to, uh, it's going to fail on you and just the quality is not there and then um, you just feel it. I mean, it's just overall the finish work, you know, is just not where it should be. So I hope this is a little bit informative for people at least to get an idea. And like I said, bearings are applicable to just about anything. And like I said, most of the bearings that you see on the market now are becoming cheaply made from China. And their metallurgy and their uh, tolerances just are not to where they should be, unlike, let's say, a, a, uh, um, an FAG or, um, you know, a Timken or um, SKF or some of these others. So anyway... Uh, Hope this uh, at least gives us a little bit of insight into this and hope that uh, saves some of the aggravation to have them do this more than once. Thanks.